Yeah, good day. You're yeah, welcome to another edition of our online class. Uh, I say thank you to those who whom they've actually shared these our videos for you for our subscribers. We want to say thank you. And uh, this very video today, I, I'm doing this video because of some popular demand. Some persons still want me to explain the looping for electric fencing like they're not getting it and i i want to try as much as possible to break it down as possible as i can today more so uh some of our subscribers uh in some francophone countries they're asking if i can uh, uh do my video in other language but the thing is i can only speak english i can't speak french but what i will try to do is to try subtitle if we can have a subtitle in uh, French also. Maybe I'll see if I can do that or I can also recommend an app that you can use that can help you translate whatever I am saying in English so you can get the whole gist. More so, please, if you want to get across to me, you can also reach us via the, the number here on the screen, the WhatsApp number. You can reach us via that number. We'll, we'll be happy to get back to you if it's something that is so urgent, you want to get other information. Or you can also reach us, just send a message via reply via the via YouTube. I can also get across to, to you too. So, but today we want to talk about looping of electric fence. When we say looping, what do we mean? Now, like he said, like he said earlier, like that very subscriber said that he he, he still cannot get. The, the should I say the the, the, the the secret the technique but I'm going to try as much as possible to break it down to the level where I feel maybe if I do this way you might get the whole jack okay let's go so this is uh let's say we have one one two three four okay these are your lines, these are your poles, okay, okay, these are the poles, then you have another area here, one, okay, this is another area. Let me show you what I want this to really look like. Okay, I can draw it like this kind of an L shaped perimeter, an L shaped fence, just an L. This side is this side, and here is this other side. Let's take, for example, in this very uh, energizer configuration, we're having an our energizer here, here, libid with the asterisks. This place with the asterisk, and energizer is here. Maybe this is how the fence looks like. I'll be having energizer here. You want it here, or if I if I put it here as if it's, I'm making it cheap, I want it to be in a position where we might be having difficulty. If I have the energizer here, to be easy for us to connect. You get it, but I don't want that. I want something very. Should I say? something unique so that at the end of the day you get the whole gist uh the whole gist okay um now let's first of all let's label our things this is one line one two three four five six one two three four five six six lines this is a six line configuration and um let's uh configure it such that we have our live and f where we go with our life as we know earlier from our previous video we have the l the e the l the l the e the l which is the live f life life f life i also have this the life, the earth, the life, the life, the earth, and the life. The life, earth, life, life, earth, life. Great. Okay, from this very face, 
I want to label here as um, should I say this part of the face. This this part is here. If if we have the face like this, maybe the line is coming like that. Okay, for example, and we have this. Just take for example having this so meeting here also. This part is here. This section here. This here part is this section. So it means this part, this part, and this this part. This part is this section here. Why here is here? Why this part of the fence is here and this part is here? Okay, good. It means there must be link between this part and here. So we need to link here and here. I hope that is clear. Here and here, which is here and here. So we need to link it just like a jumper. Link both of them. So I'll do that by dragging this one six to six. 6 to 6 5 to 5 4 to 4 3 to 3 2 to 2 And one to one. Great. So if I try to do the line is a line of connection, you I think you can get the lines. This is one to one, two to two, three to three, four to four, five to five, and six to six. What next is for us? It means we've looked this part. Here to this like that. That's all we have here. I just want us. I want you to understand it. Here, one to one, two to two, three to three, four to four, five to five, six to six. Now for this very configuration, I said we'll be having our energizer somewhere here. That is this side. I don't want if I have it here, it will look as if it's too straightforward. I'm trying to make it as as uh, should I say technical as it should be. Maybe do I use the word um. Why is it difficult? Mm, no, I don't want to use that word anyway. Okay, now here I'll be having the position we'll be having our energizer. Let's say energizer is here. This is the earth loop. The earth is already looped. Okay. Here you have the out for earth. You have return for earth. Then you have the life out. And your life return. Okay, so this is the energizer. Great. This is out. This is return for the life. This is it. I just have to loop it with this. Okay, what next? We need to now draw our try to close this part of the fence. So I need to pick a particular point from line one as my starting point. Let me take here. This position A as my starting point. Want to start looping, start dragging the line from point A, start point A. So maybe this one, this wire, it moves all the way. Line one, going to one, gets to one. And since only life can only meet life and air to meet air. So the next life available for us here is line three. Okay, so this. This was that the arrow. This is the arrow of the movement of this line. Okay, it's going this way. It's going this way. It gets here and it's moving to three. From here to three. So three needs to move back from here. Continues all the way. Okay. Three. All the way. It gets here. It can't go back to point A where it started. It needs to go back to other lines that does not have any link yet. So the next line available is line four. So I join with line four here, then it begins to return this other way. Okay. 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 
So the next available line here for live here is line six, which is another line. This one comes to line six. Okay. Okay. Now it's almost like it's ending here. This is point B. For ending it here, because my energizer is not here, what do I do? I need to find a solution to this thing. Look at the position of the energizer. I can't bring this one all the way here. So this is where the trick is. What I have to do here is to link this one. Now I can on the pole on that that stud where you're having your main your main stand, the pole. I just need to link this number one to number six. Now the whole system is closed, but we don't have a connection to this energizer. So now what we're having here from this whole thing is like, like this. It's like just one wire that goes round. But I want to, I want to have a position where I can connect an uh, energizer because my energizer is at the end here, the edge, this position, and this is already closed. What I just have to do here, yes, take a look at this trick. I will go to this point, which is somewhere here, which is here, where we have this pole. I will come here. One of those loop that you have from maybe number six to six, you have, you know, you have one to one, two to two, three to three, four to four. This number six here, which is here, this to this, I will open it up. I'll cut, I'll break this place. See this part? I'll cut it off, remove this connection, this link. I remove this link where they are marrying themselves. Okay? This was the link that married. This part and this part, and my energizer is here. So I will have to take this number six, take this to the return, and take the other six here, the other side here, to the out. So it is now like you see this out. Okay, this one, if it's moving as out. So if you follow the line, the movement of this of this arrow now, so it's leaving from here all the way. It goes to number one. So number one move all the way, all the way to one here. One to three, three moves all the way, all the way. Three, three, three gets here, and three moves to number four. Four moves, it returns. Four, okay. Four all the way. Four gets here. It gets to six. All right. From the six, it moves and hits the energizer, the other part of the energizer. So you see, it's just like a full circle that I had to alter and just continue put my other one of the one of the lead here and the other lead here. So that is what we have here. So you can you can see that it's just a trick. I just tried as much as possible to trick since I want the energizer. But the first thing you need to do is a matter of finishing your face, finish every of your looping face before creating space for your energizer, the cable that will go to your energizer. Not you starting from there, just finish all your, your looping on the fence first. Maybe the looping is done, then before coming to sort out your energizer position. But there are times, let's take for example, okay, if this energizer, just take note of this, okay, if this energizer wasn't here, let's take for example, it wasn't here, okay, um, let me just erase these lines. And this energizer was like, okay, no, we, then we need this one to have its connection with this one. So maybe we have an energizer somewhere here. This is the life out, life return. This is your earth, earth loop. Your earth, remember, your earth is always in parallel. So whatever it is. There's no issue. You can connect your head from anywhere. Just loop your your head anywhere. Loop them together in parallel. It's fine. It's no problem because it's already closed here. Since the energizer is here, what do I have to do? The trick here is this loop here. All I need to do is to open this loop. Okay. I take one, this one, to this place, and the other one to that place. You see. So that's how you can put your, your energizer anywhere, but make sure you treat your fence, finish the connection for your fence before any of those actions. 
and i think if there's any question after now please do do well to try as much as possible to reach me if i need to if you need to put uh, even uh purchase our manual we have a manual that uh, can we've tried to explain to break this whole thing down reach me via the whatsapp number i'll be happy to send a soft copy to you is it is a complete guide that has to do with uh, in you inspecting a site um all you need to do when you have steppings all of that we have the have it in the manual so i hope this is able to sort out the popular demand of those saying i still don't understand looping i've tried as much as possible to break it down to where i can if at this point you see them they're just trying to get that manual go through it when you go through it i think by the time you try it one or two times you i know you get uh, used to it so to meet again in our next class please don't forget to subscribe to this channel Share this video. I think somebody out there will also need it, might be interested, who wants also to get themselves uh, grounded in this. To meet again in our next video. Do have a lovely week. Bye for now.